Well, first of all, I was surprised because I thought hospice dealt only with people that were in a hospital or something like that. So I was so surprised because they are doing so many things for me. For example, just Jim here today with the medications. Now, mine are not awfully expensive, but they're all being taken care of by hospice. It's just nice having them come and asking them a question that may have come up on something during the week on, uh, with related to my health. I have Ron Larson, who comes here. He's got a buddy that he can talk to once a week, and um, they have a good time together. It's very, very nice. It's been a source of ease for me to talk, especially with men. Myron's been able to go to concerts. We go to church on Sunday. Um, you know, we treat this, our life as if it was before uh, we found out what the problems were with him. And I think hospice does support in a fine way that way. So wherever we are, we could call too. I don't no. think people realize that. Anytime. That it, it's available 24 seven. Well, there's no question about the fact that uh, my life is much more full, I think might be a good word, and warm, especially by, by the um, attitude of the people uh, who are a part of that institution. The new normal is sort of like the old, and I sort of sometimes say it's sort of like living between heaven and hell, because you're never quite sure what's going to happen. But on the other hand, uh, none of us really ever knows what's going to happen during the day anyway. And I think you change your attitude to cope with what you have to cope with. And um, the other thing is it gives you an opportunity to examine yourself and say, okay, if this is the last day, how do I want it to be lived? I'm unhappy about some things that I can't do, that I wish I could do, uh, but I think everybody who's sick at one time or another feels that same way. And um, the hospice folks have been really great. I mean, after all, it is a principle of love. And it's a sophisticated love supported by an energy and effort to give comfort and support to people who, like myself, were very confused about what they would do with their life when they leave this earth. And once I got to the point where I said, yes, when God wants me, he'll take me. And uh, no matter how long it, it takes, uh, I'll, I'll be there, she'll be there. I know all of our children, our seven children, uh, would be happy to have me be around for a while. And right now, we are in the a while. <laughs>